Bio CNG. This technology can deal with air pollution at three levels by curtailing methane emissions, warding off waste burning, and phasing out fossil fuel powered vehicles. Bio CNG, also known as compressed biogas, is an upgraded version of the humble biogas compressed at high pressure in cylinders which is similar in chemical properties to CNG derived from petroleum sources. This is then sent off to filling stations to be used as fuel in vehicles. But despite economic and environmental promises, this industry is slow to pick up. Let us understand why by studying the challenges faced by Asia's largest bio-CNG plant based on municipal solid waste in India's cleanest city, Indore. This is Dev Guradia, earlier known as Indore's dumping ground for almost 70 years. The particulate matter pollution was visibly high in the area, not to forget the foul odour caused due to hydrogen sulphide and ammonia. The gases which are uh, related to landfills are usually some noxious gases, like uh, gases related to sulphur, like sulphur dioxide, sulphur monoxide, hydrogen sulphide, these are the gases. Then methane can also be there and apart from this carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide can also be there. They may affect eyes, they may cause irritation, redness and other things. They may cause uh, rhinitis, rhinorrhea, watering from the uh, nose. Then when they are absorbed for the longer periods or you can say they, when they are inhaled for longer periods, then initially they may cause cough and if it is inhaled for longer periods in larger volumes, then they may cause uh, shortness of breath. And when it is for months or years, then they may uh, lead to COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Although the trenching ground was replaced by a city forest and the Gobardhan bio-CNG plant, the putrefying odour of garbage still marks the area. फिर बदबू भी नहीं आती मतलब बारिश के दिनों में कभी-कभी आती है ऐसा हो गया है मतलब कंटिन्यू नहीं रहता गोबरधन प्लांट बिल्ट ऑन 15 एकर्स ऑफ लैंड विद एन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ 150 करोड़ प्रोसेसेस 550 टन्स ऑफ द 700 टन्स पर डे ऑफ बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट इन द सिटी द प्लांट प्रपोजेस टू इंप्रूव द सिटीज एयर क्वालिटी by mitigating 130,000 tons of carbon dioxide annually. Gobardhan plant was set up by the Indore Municipal Corporation in partnership with the private company Ever Enviro Resource Management Private Limited. IMC is supposed to supply 90% segregated waste to the plant for which the company has to pay them an annual royalty of 2.5 crores. The corporation buys bio-CNG from the plant at a rate that is 5 rupees less than the market price of CNG and using it as a fuel to run its 146 buses. The Indore Municipal Corporation has already earned 8.5 crores in carbon credits by replacing diesel buses with CNG. Also, half the gas produced is sold to Avantika Gas Limited, the CNG and PNG supplier of the Indore region at 56 rupees per kg. अब ये जो बायो सीएनजी है उसको हम 250 बार पे कंप्रेसर के थ्रू प्रेस करके कंप्रेस करके इसको हम सिलेंडर्स में और कैस्केट में भरते हैं जो अल्टीमेटली जो डिस्पेंसिंग स्टेशन है बायो सीएनजी के या सीएनजी के वहां पे ये व्हीकल्स में यूज होता है इसके अलावा हम इंडस्ट्रियल कंज्यूमर्स को भी सप्लाई करते हैं बिसाइड्स बायो सीएनजी द प्लांट जनरेट्स 15 टन्स ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड 100 टन्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैन्योर एज बाय प्रोडक्ट्स while bottling of carbon dioxide for industrial use is still in the pipeline, the company sells their manure at a net rate of 1800 rupees per ton. There is a plan to inject the compressed biogas produced in Gobardhan into Avantika's city gas distribution network via a pipeline. 
This will not only cut gas compression costs, but also reduce emissions through transportation and the 163 industries in the city. Gobardhan has its own share of challenges as it implements a technology that is still nascent in India. Indore is a pioneer in this technology and will have only its own experiences to learn from. Thank you.